Hi folks, this is Vicki at PatternPrincess.com. Today I want to show you how to do a rectangular granny square. Um, what I'm going to do first is put a slip knot on my hook. If you've ever done a granny square um, like me, and you've always been, it's always eluded me how to do a rectangular granny square until recently. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I got my slip knot on. Um, for this sample size, I'm going to work 28 stitches. Okay, so we're going to just do 28 chains. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, twenty. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, that should be 28. Okay, so the way we're going to start this off is in the fourth chain from the hook. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. So in the fourth chain from the hook, we're going to do two double crochet. The three chains that we have skipped, that counts as a first double crochet. So we're going to do two more in here for a total of three double crochet. So we're going to do one and another one. Yarn over, put your hook through, yarn over, bring it through, and yarn and go through two loops, and yarn over, go through two loops. Okay, so that is our first granny cluster done. A granny cluster is normally a, a cluster of three double crochets in a stitch. So I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to skip two, one, two, and in the third stitch, I'm going to work three double crochet. So it's kind of just like the normal granny square if you've ever done one before. So the rest of this is going to be kind of similar to that. So we go one, two, and our third double crochet. And now we're going to repeat that all the way across. Oopsies, I didn't get all my yarn and all my yarn pieces. Hold on, let me do one more here. There we go. Okay, so there we got your three double crochet. Chain one, skip two, one, two, and in that third chain, we're gonna do three double crochet. So we're gonna repeat this here. And I'm using a little, I'm using a J size hook along with this is Karen Simply Soft. I did my chain one, I'm going to skip one, two, three, and do three double crochet. Um, but anyways, I'm using a J hook with it and I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make my stitches just a tad bit loose so that you can see them easily with this. Um, hopefully that's working out well. And here's my three, chain one. We just got a couple more. One, two, three. And sometimes if you pull a lot on this loop here, this loop that's after that, that chain that's after that can be real small and can and kind of be hard to see. Um, so I'm trying not to do that. If you notice, I'm kind of putting my finger there to so, so that it kind of doesn't pull as much because I don't want to lose that stitch. Chain one and then one, two, third stitch. Go ahead and do my three double crochet. So now this is starting to look a little bit wonky at this time. Um, right now it looks like it, whoopsies, I missed my hole. Um, it looks like it's curling on you, and it is. That's okay, don't worry about it, keep going. Trust me, this is gonna work. <laughs> Chain one, and then we're gonna skip three. One, two, three. Yarn over and do your three double crochet. Chain one, one, two, three. And we should have three more double crochet or three more chains after this left. If I've counted right, we should have three. And there we go with my third chain one. Yep, there's one, two, three. Now, in this last one, we're gonna work a chain or a double three double crochet. And then we're going to work more. There's one, 
two, and then three. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. And that's going to make our first corner spot, okay? Just like you have um, your corner spot on the square, granny square, this is our corner spot now that we're creating for our rectangle. So now in this same spot, I'm going to do three more double crochet. One, two, three, and now I'm going to chain two. One, two, and then in the same spot, another three double crochet. It's amazing we, that we can fit all these stitches in here, huh? Two, three. And I'm just gonna, I just crocheted over this yarn tail a little bit here. I'm just gonna drop it. Now, again, look at how wonky this is looking. But if I hold it out, you can start to see, it kind of looks a little bit like a granny square. And here's my corner. Like, it's kind of hard to see, but here's a little, my chain two, and here's my chain two. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the underside of the row that we were just on. We're gonna kinda, of, as you can see, we're just going around the circle. We just kinda of went around the corner, and now we're gonna work back on the other side here until we get to this side. So on the underside of our stitches, I'm going to chain one, and you skip two, one, two. Well, actually, once you've done this, the hole is so big, I just go to this hole. I can kind of just eyeball it. It's like you can see these big holes. So you skip this part here and just go to here and do three double crochet. So what you did on the opposite side, you're now going to repeat on the underside. Okay, so here's two, three, chain one, skip this these two stitches here. In this big spot here, we're going to do our three double crochet. One, Oopsies. Two, three, chain one, go to the next spot. One, two, three, and there we go. I missed a loop. And then skip that, go to the next spot. I did my chain one already, by the way. I don't think I said it, I just quick did it, sorry. You kind of get into the rhythm and it's really hard to, <laughs> when I'm trying to slow myself up, I do apologize if I occasionally skip telling something. Chain one, go to the next spot, three double crochet. And then chain one, go to the next spot. And we're almost to the other corner there. And we're going to make both corners, um, both ends will match in stitches when we get done. Chain one, go to the space here, and we're almost to the corner. The corner is going to be the next spot. Two, three. Okay, chain one. Now, this is your corner loop right here. You see this right here? This loop. That loop that we did those first two double crochet in, that's where we're going to work. That is our last stitch of this row. So we've done that chain one. So in here, we're going to work three double crochet. Remember in the other side, we did all those stitches in that end loop. That's we're going to do the same thing. Two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochet. Ah, <laughs> one, two, Three. Now since we started with the chain three that counted as a double crochet and then the two double crochet, <clears throat> I'm going to chain two and then I'm just going to join it to that top, those top stitches of that first chain three. You just put your hook in here, bring it through, and then you do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to lay this down, pull my hook out, check this out. We have one end here. And the same stitches are on this, the back side of each stitch. And now it lays flat. It's kind of hard with having the camera so close. It's kind of hard to show you in one big, you know, photo how this looks the same. I'm going to maybe fold it here. Do you see how this looks the same on both sides? So this is the center. So however long 
you want your rectangle to be, that's how many stitches or how long you make your center. Um, this 28 stitches for the project that I was just working on that I will write up and share with you was actually a doily, a little tablecloth. Um, I had it 28 stitches and, um, and it was a, just a perfect length for me for the tablecloth that I was working on. So I'm going to go ahead and round what you're going to do, just like in the regular um, square, I should say the classic granny square, you normally repeat rows two and three throughout the whole pattern. So it's the same here. We're going to be repeating. Once we do row two and three, it's a repeat of row two and three all the way through. So here we go. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Then we're going to skip over to the chain one space and we're going to work three double crochet. So this becomes just like the classic granny square. Most of the work, um, once you get going here, it's, it's just a very nice repetitive pattern. Skip the three double crochet. I did a chain one. We're going to go right into this next space here and do three double crochet. But it's anyways, it's a nice repetitive pattern. Um, and it's just, I love the rectangle look. I'm so happy that I figured this out. Chain one, go to the next space, three double crochet, I'm going to get all my yarn pieces. Chain one, go to the next space, three double crochet. And we got to catch all of our yarn. There we go. Chain one, three double crochet. See how fast it starts to go as you kind of, you kind of get the rhythm and here you go. Um, just love it. Chain one, go to our next spot. Yeah, um, most of this, I'm sure that if you've ever done a granny square, you kind of this is making sense. I hope. Chain one, go to your next spot. But I just love the look of this. I should have some music playing in the background. Chain one, go to the next spot. Now we're coming up in the corners. So just like we do on the other granny squares, we have to work our corner stitches. I did my chain one. Okay, so here's our end. So you can see that now, how this looks like a, our corners here. So in the chain two space, okay, each chain two space, we're gonna do three double crochet. So here's one, two, Three, chain two, three double crochet. So that starts to make sense, right? And then each time, remember, we are over the three double crochet in the rows, we do our chain one. So we're going to do our chain one. And then we're going to go right into this next chain two space. And we're going to do three double crochet. And then chain two. One, two, and then three double crochet. Two, three. I think that's three, yes. Chain one, skip these double crochet, go to the next space, and do our three double crochet. So now repeat again, just like we did on the other side, we're repeating on this underside. I'm trying to hurry up just a little bit for you because I think it could be monotonous. Um, just watching me crochet. So, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm doing my chain one and I'm just skipping those double crochets, going to my chain one space and doing three double crochet. All the way across, chain one, And then we're almost to our next corner. I should have used a shorter sample, but it's, I wanted you to make sure that you could see the rectangle 
shape take place. There we go. Almost there now. Two, three, one. Okay, here we are at the corners. So remember, this looks kind of wonky, right? But remember, we started with our chain four here. So our round, our round is going to end in this chain two space. So here's a chain two space. And we've done our chain one here. So in this chain two space, just like the other side, remember just like we did this other side, we're going to do our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in those chain two spaces. So we're going to work our first one, our three double crochet, and chain two, and three double crochet. Chain one, because we're over the three double crochet, we'll skip over to the chain two space. Do one, two, three double crochet, chain two, and then we only do two double crochet because we're going to join to the third stitch. Okay, our, our look, I got to count one, two, yep. Our third stitch, we're going to join with a slip stitch. Let's put this down. So here is our first two rounds. You see how lovely this is starting to take shape? One side looks just like the other side. See, they look just the same. I, you know, this, this yarn end is no problem. I can weave that in but we have this looking the same. And so now what we do, so that was round two. So, and, it's, and it, it increases. So if you think about every time you're over a chain, or over the double crochet spaces, you do a chain stitch. And then you work inside of those chain stitches, you work your three double crochets. So if you just keep that in mind all the way around, and the only difference between the rows is how you start it and stop it, and then we always, in the corner spaces, the corner chain two spaces, we're going we're gonna to always work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now, some patterns do, so follow the pattern that you're on. Some patterns do want you to do a chain three on the ends rather than a chain two. Today I'm doing a chain two. Um, so when we start a round three off, this is the only difference. And then when you end, it'll be a little bit different. So because we're in... Over the top of one of those chain one spaces, we're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. So the other row, remember, we started with our chain four. This one, because we're in the chain, we have the chain one space, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Yarn over and do two more double crochets right in here. There's one, two. So when we come back around, when I come back around on this side, I'm going to have my three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the corner. Then I'm going to do a chain one, and I'm going to slip stitch into my top chain of the initial chain three. And then that's going to close off that round. So I'm going to do a couple more here for you, and then I'm going to show you how to make sure you can see how to close it. So my chain one, skip over. So when I was going to say, whenever you're on the ends, I'll maybe go to the first end. When you... Whenever you're on the ends, you're going to always, um, or any time, because as it grows, any time that you're over that chain three, you chain one. And it, so that's the other, you know, your, your pattern will grow. So as it grows, you just keep that pattern in mind of every time you have a, a three double crochet together, you do a chain one. And then we go into the chain one space and do our three double crochet. One two, three, and then I'm going to go to the end here and I'll make sure you can work the end again. Okay, I've just reached the other end here and so I'm going to do my chain one and then we're in that chain two space so I'm going to work my three double crochet chain two, one, two, and then my three double crochet And then chain one, because we're over that three double crochet. But now we have a space in here. 
So we're going to do three double crochet because our pattern is expanding. All right, chain one and then skip those and then in the corner we're going to do our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. One, two, and then our oopsies, our three double crochet. Chain one, and then skip over here and do three double crochet. And then I'm going to continue that pattern of chaining one and doing my three double crochet all the way till the other end, okay? And I'm going to meet you back there. Look at how nice our corner is looking. See? And then the next time, when we come this way, we would do our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, our chain one over these, three double crochet in here, chain one over this, three double crochet in here, chain one, and then in here is our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then we would continue rotating up the other side. So I'm going to meet you over on this side here, okay? Okay, here's my other corner. I've made it over to here, and I've done my chain one. And so I'm going to go into this first corner stitch here, work my three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, three double crochet, two, three, chain one, work my three double crochet. Remember, you only do the chain two in the corner stitches. Chain one, and now we're going to our corner stitch, so we do our chain, our three double crochet. And our chain two, and three double crochet in the same space. And then we're almost done. Remember, here we go, chain one, and we had our three chains to begin with, which count as a double crochet. So now we're going to put our hook in here. I think I'm just going to, for now, stick it through here and nobody will tell. There we go. And do our slip stitch. And that completes that round. So we have, this is our third round. So we have round one here, and then round two, and then round three. And so we repeat rounds two and three, because now when I wanted to start off, I would start off with four, because yes, we're in that chain three space, but we're, we're on the other, we're on the left side of it. Like we're kind of more over that, that double, the, uh, that double crochet, that chain three that counts as a double crochet. So now what I do is I do a chain four, just like I did in row two, two, three, Four, and then I'd skip over here and I would do my three double crochet. So this is a repeat of row two. See, and then I just continue on. So I would continue on from there. And then I come back and I would join it with a slip stitch in that third stitch of that first chain four. And then the next round would be chain three and two double crochet right in that space. So it's a really nice you just, you just continue this pattern, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, the, initial, um, the initial chain that you do is going to determine how long, as I said, your rectangle is. And so um, I haven't quite figured out how to make sure I can tell you like, oh, this one's going to be exactly this long. This one's... So I think that the, actually the crochet crowd has a really good source that I'm going to try and look at for how many stitches you should start with in the middle. Um, but I will have um, this tutorial um, in written form as well on the website for free. And then I will, I actually have a pattern already that I've made using this. So I think that you'll like that pattern. It's really a pretty pattern. It uses variegated yarn and it's for the holidays and the holidays are coming here. It's November here. I know it's almost Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm you know, we got to have Thanksgiving happen and then I'm going to have the Christmas pattern. But the Christmas pattern works up really quick. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you uh, take some time and... Uh, be bold like I was and learn how to do the rectangle granny stitch. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.